Hello, lovelies! Okay, so. Today we're going to be making these, which I think are really cool. They are gem elixirs. And elixirs are really cool because, um, I don't know how many of you bake, but I'm sure all of you are familiar with it, but gems are just like baking. You can take them, mix and match them, make different elixirs with them because each gem does a different thing. So here, I have a little, this is love, and it's more for self-love. So you can put it in your tea, you can put it in a perfume, you can put it in oil, a lotion, you know. And it's more about um, that inner inner love and that, that the ability to love others. Um, you know, you have to love yourself first and, and that kind of jazz. And it just kind of puts love into your aura and energy, and love is an awesome thing to have. <laughs> you can always benefit from more love, so this is perfect. Um, in here, I have rose quartz, um, aventurine, and amethyst, which all have love in common. It could also be used for other things, just cleaning or a um, protection, I believe, is one of the attributes of all of those. And I will show you how I did it right now. So we are going to start with some stones, which I have right here. Um, these are the ones I was just using. Um, I have, you need alcohol um, or vinegar. You can use vodka, you can use anything. I'm just going to use uh, just a tiny drop of hand sanitizer and all that's going to do is keep it from molding because it's going to be sitting in water for a long time. And then you need a jar or some sort of clear container or glass. I've got a little mason jar right here. And some water. And you're going to want purified water just because yeah, the, more, the more clean, the more natural, the better. Um, you can just take water and boil it to get all those chemicals out um, that comes in tap water, but... Um, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then you're going to want to clean your rocks too. You always want to clean your rocks because some rocks do have, um, some poisonous chemicals and, um, some poisonous stuff in them. <laughs> Brief interruption, my puppy decided to join. Hello! Yeah! Oh, he's so excited! Yeah, I'm so excited! Okay, anyways, so... As I was saying, you want to clean all your stones because they could have some poisonous materials in there. Um, you want clean water, alcohol, jar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got everything. So, here are the stones that I have. I used to have so many more. I'm so sad they're all gone. <laughs> but that's what you get for moving around the entire country for a year. So, um, I want a protection one because these is pretty much all the gems have some sort of protective quality to them that's why they're used so it's pretty easy when it comes to picking out what ones to use for a protection one when it gets into more specific things like money fertility whatever um, it gets a little more specific and you might need to look 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 those ones up because unless you unless you know what every single stone means which I don't know what every single stone means I know what they mean to an extent but I have to look them up sometimes too so anyways I'm going to use rose quartz because it has a protective quality and it's also for love and you can also get all those those other good things in there just because a elixir is specifically for one thing doesn't mean it doesn't also do other things because these stone do a mix stones do a mixture of um things each so Rose quartz, got hematite. This is the best stone you can use for protection. Um, it's probably the most, I want to say this is probably the most protective stone there is. Um, it is just specifically used to deflect negative energy, negative entities, negative pretty much anything, negative thoughts, negative attitudes, um, just negative energy in general. I really like hematite. So we'll use those two. Um, Amethyst is also a good one. It's a protective quality, but it's also a love stone and it helps with purified blood and stuff And it does just a lot of cool stuff So we're gonna add one of those in there and I've got some clear quartz right here And all clear quartz does is it's gonna amplify pretty much anything you make with it um, It pretty much it's clear so it does just about everything and it will Like I just said, it'll just amplify everything that your little elixir is already doing and you can either boil these or you can just wipe them off with alcohol, pretty much anything you want. You really need to consider what you're wanting to do with this um, with this elixir before you make it. Just because if you're going to be drinking it, you probably don't want hand sanitizer in there like I'm using. You probably want to use vinegar or alcohol. And you do not just straight drink this. You can put it in with a um, like a couple drops into your tea or something <laughs> so it doesn't taste so funky. Um, I mean, it'll just taste like water and vinegar, but <laughs> you know. Anyways, so now I have already cleaned everything 
and I do not intend to be drinking this. <laughs> I like to put it in my sprays and stuff. Just We are going to plop this baby right into the I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to stop my dumbass right here because this later fell over, chipped, and cut my lip open. So don't set your gems this way if they're shaped like this. <laughs> this jar carefully because this is a big stone and it might break. Perfect. Hematite. And you're gonna wanna meditate with these beforehand if you want to, that's optional, but it will strengthen it. Um, you just hold them in your hand. You really think about what you intend to use them for, what you want them to do. Um, and just really put your charge in with your energy. Stones are need to be charged too. Don't forget that. I might make a video on that later. So drop that stone in there. Hope I didn't chip anything. <laughs> I really should have gotten a shorter glass. All right, and then our amethyst and our clear quartz. Okay. So, ooh, yep. Yep. That uh, that is what I was talking about. Ooh, just chip that. Awesome. Now we're going to take our clean water that we got here. You really don't need that much, just enough to kind of cover the stones. Um, so yeah, that should be plenty. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew this and pour it in there. Blah, 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 blah. blah. them for any or for any amount of time just about you can leave them overnight you can leave them for a week it depends on how strong you want it um, and you're going to want to charge it in either you can use sunlight um, but it is not as strong as moonlight and the best moonlight to do it in is obviously a full moon because the energy from the moon really charges those stones and really gets it into the water and just makes it an awesome mixture so um, I definitely recommend doing that so we are just about to wrap it up for right now forget the alcohol. I have made that mistake so many times and you just end up with a moldy tin and it is not fun and you do not need a lot. That's it. See I just put one tiny drop in there and the capsule. Voila we have this. I'm going to set it in the sunlight because I like to let mine charge for a while so he will probably be charged in full moonlight at some point. That is about it for the elixirs. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. I really need to get a tripod. <laughs> All right, anyways, thank you. Keep watching.